the one time I had the great idea of, you know, being married, having kids, but it didn't happen. One time I wanted to be the next Jimi Hendrix. It didn't happen. Wow. What happened was I became a photographer. Be good. And don't move. You know, he's like, I guess when I'm with the Chechens, I become Chechen. When I was in Afghanistan, I became, you know, a mooch, you know. It's, it's, it's almost like, a, it's a kind of Zen thing. If you put that in your mind, it becomes true. You know, the only thing that gives me up is the divine decadence. But uh, if I take him everything off, he, I can disappear. There is a certain thing. There is a certain sense of adventure. And then when I started to see the news and saw that the thing was heating up again, I, I was really saying to myself, yes, we don't want to admit it. Because it sounds horrible, you know, to say, yeah, it's fun. Some people need relationship or need the family thing. I'm coming more and more that I don't really need it. And I've sort of resigned myself to the fact that maybe there's not going to be little Stanleys or Stellas running around. A war photographer is somebody that's going into the, the Valley of Lions and hoping that they don't get eaten. You become addicted to it. There's no comparison. You cannot compare a war photographer to any other thing than, than a priest or monk or samurais. I constantly need that edge. I need to be so not secure. We are seekers of information and we really want to, to get as close to it as possible. It's like a moth to the flame. If the moth gets too close, it burns up. So it has to, like, you just get close enough just to feel the heat, and then you back off. That's what makes that kind of picture interesting. You want to be able to capture something that's powerful, that's going to make a statement. Because I've been doing conflict so long, it's my expertise. I think it's very uh, 
healthy that if you have individuals that want to go into dark places and try to turn lights on. The problem is, is that it gets more and more difficult to have access to it. And I think that photographers today, the real good ones, that's what they do. They, they go. So I think you constantly have to try. The more that I cover conflicts, the more I realize it's all about loss, what people lose. Uh, men, equipment, uh, your own psychological soul is lost. Nobody wins in a war or a conflict, nobody. I mean, even the victor doesn't win. The world is dark. I mean, we live in a, in a, in a dark world. I'm not attracted to violence. I'm attracted to uh, questions. I'm interested in telling a story and trying to understand. I'm asking the question, what makes an individual do these things? And at the same time, I want people to ask themselves what makes people do these things, or are those things inside of them? Is this going to raise a debate? I'm a storyteller. I tell stories with pictures. A historian. I'm an historian. The minute you push the button, you created history. What is the draw? What motivates me to go and take pictures now? There's evil in the world. I mean, the world is evil. And um, I'm interested in, in, in the darkness. I'm interested in, in the things that we can't see or that we can see, but that are, that are too, too difficult to see. So, I think it's, I think it's what motivates me, you know? It's, it challenges me to, to uh, explore that. Inside of me, there is a part of me that's, that really wants to just get to as close to the dark side as possible. And there's enough people out there doing the sweetness of life. So I figure that I would focus on the dark side. It doesn't mean that I'm dark, but I've been around enough darkness. I've seen enough evil that I think I got a handle on it. And truthfully, uh, I would like to continue to, to explore it.
I used to be naive, like Donald McCullen and like a few other. We had an idealistic view, Kappa II problem. We had an idealistic view that photos would change the world. I don't believe that anymore. I believe that these kind of photos, what they serve is hopefully that we don't make the same mistakes later. I just hopefully hope that my pictures survive time. Some gunfighters knew they were going to die with their boots on. Me, if I can die with my boots off, fine. If God says it's another way, as long as when I go, at least I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, taking pictures. This is what I've been made, created, if you want, to do, to be a photographer. This is what I'm going to do till the day I die. Baby, it's cold outside. You gotta go home. Baby, it's cold outside. Man, it's still sitting out there.